All right, guys. You're in. You're doing editing and um, and doing articles, but your main purpose is to do the article. You're doing articles. You don't know actually exactly what to do. So what you do is go and click on our page section. With all our pages, we have a buyer section. We have the post section where you're going to be making all your posts at. We have a private lender section. We have a seller section. This is the seller's page. Just look at the seller's page. This is the seller's page, which is basically where we're sending them to to fill out the information to get into our database. Every like if you're doing a seller's blog, you have them you have links to this page so they can get a free report to this page. You have to know that that in order you know to get them that's where we want to get them to and then we have a VIPs buyers page if they're looking to buy a house from reading your blog and then they want to get you've got to mention like a free report in there for them to go to this section to click I mean once they click on your one of your links or several links that you have on your pay on your post that it could get into this section here and basically fill out the information in order to get some get into our database our main purpose is our main purpose is, is to have you do articles where you have links to our several one of our either our buyers page, our sellers page, or to our VIP our um, private lenders website, which is not a page on it because we, we couldn't get the pages. So when they click, you can use some of these links as references to know exactly what's going on. Like you can go in here and click on here and it'll tell you what's on the link. Like okay, it'll say it'll say this is where we want our links to our um, private lending section to go to to newsecurehighreturn.com so every time they click on this link or click on one of these links that you should have on your page they should automatically be redirected to that website you could understand that you see this page is saying that please add a reference or non-reference external links we have to go back in there and do some corrections on this page but I'm just giving you an idea of the basics of what you need to do. Once you get in there, you know now, now you're when you're doing your post, <clears throat> you're just adding new posts to our, our site. But you're you're format you're formulating all of them to go to each one of those three links, either to our sellers page, to our buyers page, to our private lenders page. Once you do that, then you format your keywords to to however once you need to get them at the CSO keyword optimization on those pages. But now I'm going through right now and I'm looking at some of the posts. I don't want you posting in every section. I just want you to do posts for those three departments, for those three categories. Do a seller's article one, do a buyer's article two do a um, private lenders article three and we have one more section our agent site for our agents where you're going to do an article on how working with us agents working with us could get you could get higher returns or I mean you could get more closings on their deals by working with us what you got to look at is you can kind of get an idea from all our posts on what we're trying to convey to our to people that we're marketing to. You gotta get that idea. So when you're doing your when you're doing your article, you're you're formatting your article accordingly or you're having it be in the same kind of direction that we're sending ours to. You're not off base. That's about it. You're gonna do one on four subjects buyer, seller, private lender, and agent. Those are the three articles that I want you guys to write on. Those, I mean, those are four articles that I want you guys to write on. Private lender, agent wanted, um, seller, and buyer. Those are the three. Simple. 